Um, hey, Mikey, or I guess anybody else that's out there watching us on my YouTube account. I'm um, going to show you a little bit today about Google SketchUp and why I think, I mean, a lot of people were going to start using it for storyboarding. Especially, I just found this out a little bit ago. Um, I guess I'm coming away too. I've been using SketchUp for quite a long time. I just never, I don't know why, I just never made the correlation. Wow, I can do all this stuff with Google SketchUp. Why don't I just use it to storyboard all the movies that I shoot? So anyway, what I'm showing you here is a little gel cell from one of my classes. It's uh, from a little script. Now anyway, I made the gel cell here in about, I guess I would say 20 minutes. But uh, with just like basic cookie cutter textures, as you can see, like lame concrete flooring. But the cool thing is I was allowed to do I did it in 20 minutes. It looks pretty basic, but you can kind of get the gist of what's going on here. Like your camera, all your setup and stuff, and your crew would be outside here. Here's your scene of your jail cell. And uh, basically, cool thing about Google SketchUp is that as long as you understand uh, that every piece of geometry extends off another piece of geometry, like for instance, like how to go from making your wall and just drawing a straight line to put all your bars on, you'll get along fine in SketchUp. I'll show you a little bit about that here in just a second. But one of the cool things, like I didn't even realize, I didn't even think about it in my head until I got ready to record this video is is you can actually make scenes in Google SketchUp. Now, uh, let me go to my window real quick and open up my scenes bar. Okay, so like, say the script, you got it calls for like, I know in like one of the first shots, it's like, he's sitting there, he's sleeping on a chair, and you got like your wanted posters with your red X's, and so you're like, well, I got that frame the right way, but I really, I don't want to mess that shot up. I don't want to, you know, mess around in Google uh, sketch up some more and then like oh well then I got to reframe it well you don't have to worry about that because you can just hit save scene and now your scene saved and you can go back to it whenever you want you can like I just roll as you can see I zoomed out I could delete the whole wall if I wanted to and I can go right back to that scene which is really neat so I put the wall I undid that put the wall right back behind them and then be like oh well I got to go to my next shot is like a wide shot with him, like, you know, you may have, like, drunks in the cell or whatever, but you got people that are laying down in their jail cell, and you're like, oh, I want to add that scene. And you just click on here and go right back to it. So, I mean, that's the that's humongous, being able to do that as a filmmaker, just to be like, and not only that, but you can go right back to it, and then you can readjust it, resave the scene. Really, really cool to be able to do that. Say, like, oh, I don't like that. You can go back and readjust it. Cool thing about Google SketchUp. So, now that I have that, I'm going to show you a little bit about, about making geometry in it. Let me open here. Okay. So, now we have a 3D canvas. With our little person and everything in here. Let's get rid of her. And it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty intuitive. I Like I said, I used... Uh, architecture programs before in high school and it was nothing like this it's just so nice to be able to edit in 3d space so anyway as you can see this line I'm about to create follows all the lines it goes that way that way and then goes vertical um so for instance let's say instead of like having to actually like draw out line by line I just want to make a 20 foot by 20 foot box so I make that instead of having to work around and make you know, line here, line there, I want to make a 20 foot line here. You don't have to worry about that with Google SketchUp because what it allows you to do, say, well that whole object right there, I just want to push and pull it up and make a whole box 20 foot tall. And now, as you can see, we have a 20 foot tall box. Or say, well, this is my foundation, this is my base for my floor for my set. But you don't want it to be silly and be have where you have you know your wall if I can get it stand up right there you have your wall and then you know your hole like that nobody wants their scene if you're going to do it right you don't want to have your hole sitting in your wall like that it just looks like a bad window so anyway Google allows you to do is take this and say you want to offset it one foot out there you go Take the, hit the little offset button just shoot it out one foot say you want one foot hit enter then I'll push and pull my wall up another 10 feet. We got that. And then 
what you have to do is tell Google that you want to close off these faces. You can't really delete a wall like that. I still haven't figured out if you can really do it that way, but actually, now that I just said that, I think I have figured it out. It's like that to lock it in at, there you go, it's 20 feet, like that. And then you just push and pull it down. I just now realize that. It's silly on my part. Anyway, so we have that. So now we have like our open wall to our scene. Now Google SketchUp doesn't like limit you to just saying, well, I want to extend objects up and down. You can actually completely push walls out of the picture. So as you can just saw there, I pushed that wall down. But what you, it's really cool is you can do this, like say you want a window and just have that one window there. Well, you can take that window and shoot it out like you're going to shoot it outside and tell it you want to go one foot and you've just eliminated that wall completely. So that's really cool. And as you can see, you can just go in here. You can add different um, different textures and stuff like that. Um, add like roofing or if you were doing a roof or something like that. Pretty deep. So that's kind of the gist of doing the geometry and stuff like that any object that you can create like a, a circle or an arch you can push and pull in Google SketchUp and make it taller larger however you want to do it so with that being said I mean a lot of people they don't I can understand like looking at that it even looks daunting but the cool thing about SketchUp and besides the scene thing which I think is really neat is Google's warehouse now Google's warehouse is 100% free. You can drag and drop, as long as you're running the SketchUp program, drag and drop right from it, right into your current project. It's not, may not be scaled the right way because a lot of people, they'll build their houses not like at world spec. Most of the stuff that I do, I do it like, like if you're doing a scene in a jail cell, you might make it like 15 by 20 feet. You want a little bit rectangle, something like that. People go with exorbitant amounts of feet and inches to make their stuff. Once they've they've gone off the page, they've gone way off the page. So anyway, say you just like in your movie, you're like, I want to have this house in my movie. So it's going to take a little bit while for my internet to load it up. But say you can put this house right there. You can drag and drop it, throw it right in the set, and then... Once you have that in your set, then you go right back in uh, the Google's warehouse. And you're like, well, I need my two people. You have your two people standing in front of your house, lock in your scene. There you go. You got your first scene shot for your storyboard. So let's let this load up in here. And most of these houses actually that I, I mean, I've seen them done in SketchUp. Let's see how well my computer loads this with while screen capturing. But let me click off of it so it won't select it. Anyway. As you can see, they've like they've gone in really great detail. Most people, like I said, the models, it's eating up my RAM right now on my computer just because they've they've gone through all the work of, you know, making like everything inside the house, which is really cool. Like if you were like, like you had a shot that was something close to that, then you could just throw your people in there. But anyway, like, like you know, like one of those cookie cutter movies, like first shot and it's right outside of the house and where you can see like you know the, the mailbox door and everything like you've just locked in your first shot and then you're like well then say we had a person if I can get it set up for it it's locked inside their geometry right now but um, like the next shot was like the dad like coming home or walking in and then you got your second shot and the cool thing about that is like I talked about in um, uh, before is that now that I've set my scene I can actually just drag and drop a person in there without the scene being damaged at all like the per oh, let me see here just download him and this is where we're going to find out if everything was built according to scale yeah it was actually built really well to scale so I take him and then it's right there. I can take that and I go to my base and say I want to rotate him 90 degrees about like that. Take him, move him over, and bam. And now when I click off that, get the box off of him, I go to scene two again and then look at that. Right there, locked in scene. You can go ahead and take a screen tap because everybody, I think, as far as I know, everybody has a Mac for the, our classes. 
take that screen cap, and then that's one of your pictures from your storyboard. I did that in about, honestly, without messing around and anything, I probably did that in two minutes to get the one shot that I wanted. And it looks pretty well. Like, you would actually, you didn't have to buy any expensive storyboarding software. I did this all with a free program, and it looks really well done. You go from scene one right there, and then from scene two. And not only that, but the cool thing about Google SketchUp is like, well, you have him locked in there, but you don't really have him locked in there because just like Photoshop, this actually has layers. And what we do here is I click on him. I, well, actually, I'll make a new layer just to be like person. And then click on him, hit on his entity info, and then I say it right there that I want him to be the person. And then close that out and then so we have scene one right there and I don't want him in the shot he's not in the shot so what I do is I just be like well person's out of the scene he's not he's, he's just a person layer and then I go back to scene two and then see what happened there what happened there is it recognized that in scene one that layer would be hidden so when I go back to scene two he's already in there so I hope this teaches you a little bit about what, why Google, I'm mean, sorry about Google, but Google SketchUp is such a versatile program. I mean, it really is, I think, for me anyway, this is going to be the only thing I use to ever storyboard ever again, unless they make it a huge, huge amount of price. But um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, it. It'd be something cool. Since it is free, it'd be something worthwhile just to take a look at and see if it's something that can help you out making your film. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and um, have a good day.